The icosahedron has 20 faces and 12 vertices. Five equilateral triangles meet at each vertex. The icosahedron fits inside the octahedron with each vertex of the icosahedron cutting each edge of the octahedron in the golden ratio. Here is a stick figure version showing this relationship. In this drawing, the outer equilateral triangle is a face of the octahedron. The inner triangle is a face of the icosahedron. I measured the edge of the icosahedron die at 1.4 centimeters. Vertex I cuts the segment at the golden ratio. So B over A is approximately equal to 1.618. That gives us B is approximately equal to 1.618 times A. We can use the law of cosines to write an equation and solve for A. Solving the equation, we get A is approximately equal to 0.99, B is approximately equal to 1.60, so A plus B, the length of the sides of the outer triangle, the octahedron, is approximately 2.59. We can round that up to 2.6 centimeters. We can double that. Add 2 millimeters and we'll get the 5.6 centimeters that I used in the original construction of the tetrahedron.